Log systems are key for a good Discord server. It tells the owner and staff what's going on when they're not online and it can actually help prevent raids or anything catastrophic from occurring. That's what I'll be teaching you today, how to add a log system into your bot. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Here I am in my Visual Studio Code and I'm going to start off by making an event. This is all going to be an event and we're going to be making two. It's going to be message delete and message edit. If you want more, because I don't know exactly what you guys want, let me know in the comments and I'll make those for you and I'll make a video on that if enough people want it. But let's start off by doing client dot event and if you're in calls and you want to do commands, something like commands dot cog dot listener like that. But I'm here. So I'm in uh, regular, so I don't need to do that. And it's gonna be async def on underscore message underscore delete, and then do message. And then we can make an embed saying dot title and this can be anything. So let's just do it extra new. And a little thing here, you cannot mention an user in the title. So you want to do something along the lines of message dot author dot name deleted a message and then you can add something like this if you want to know the exact if two people have the same name message dot author dot id just so you get best of both worlds it's readable and you can identify the exact person and then add description and this will just be message dot content but first but you want to also surround this in, I guess, the code text. So just do to the key right there. So it should look like that. And then the channel you want to send this to. So this channel equals. And over here, I want to do part dot get underscore channel. And you don't want to add message to author.id. But instead, you want to add whatever your logs channel is. So I'm going to leave that here for now, uh, and then we can do that towards the end. And then do await channel.send embed equals embed. Mm -hmm. Now that we have this, we're going to create the second one, and then we'll fill this in. So now let's start off by doing client.event again. And this time, it's going to be async dev on underscore message underscore edit. And inside passing message underscore before and then do message underscore after. So both of the messages. And it looks like I spelled async wrong here, so let's just fix that. And I have uh, if you see these highlights, it's a new extension. If you want to know what it is, just ask me on my Discord S or something. I could gladly send you the link. It just helps read errors while you're coding. And now let's just do embed equals next code that embed, and then the title will be the same thing here. So we can just copy this, and then like so. And then um, it says a message over here, so we can actually do message underscore before. It really doesn't matter. You can do before or after. I'll just do before. Okay, now that I have that, we want to change this to edited and do embed dot add underscore view. Now do this before message, and then the value of this can be message underscore before dot content, and it's basically that. And then do inline equals false. 
you'll see why I do this, because it'll just be easier to read. And copy this and change this to after. And then after message. Like so, it's really easy. And now we can just copy this, actually these two. And you can add a footer, timestamp, whatever you'd like. It's all up to you. This is all I'm going to add. I feel like this is the bare minimum that you should do. But if you want to unleash your creativity, you could add images, whatever you'd like. You can add like the thumbnail as their icon, all of that. Okay, so now that we have this, we want to grab the ID of the channel. If you don't know how to do that, basically what you want to do is first you're going to have to go into accessibility settings or appearance settings and turn on developer mode. It should be somewhere up here or actually in here. But after you get that, you just want to right click on it, click copy ID, and then the channel ID should be copied. So this is my channel, this is my logs. So I'll just copy the testing just for testing sake. And then what you want to do is go back to your Visual Studio Code and just paste it in here. No quotations, just paste the integer value in here like so. And that's it. So what we're going to do is hop straight to Discord and we can check it out. So here I am my Discord and I'll join the links down below in the description. And if you don't mind me asking, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel and I'm trying to get to 1.5k subscribers. We're only like 70 away, so I think we can do it. But anyways, let's just make sure the bot's online by doing the help. And it shows up the default help command. That should be good. And we don't have any commands because these are all the events. These are just going to run when this happens. So we're going to do let's say someone deletes that. It'll pop up right here. So it's a glowstick underscore has deleted a message, which is my username. My ID, if I copy my ID here, that's my ID. It matches up. And there you go, and then it shows a message. Let's say somebody says, subscribe to Ghost it. But they actually like the video. It also said, Glossic has added a message. Before message, subscribe to Glossic. After message, like the video. And I mean, yeah, that's pretty simple. That's it. You can add the things that I added here if you'd like. I didn't, just so it's easier to read, or you can just see how it looks like without it. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. It was um, a pretty fun one to make. Power Patchy suggested it to me, who is um, a member of my server. So yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, go to scale. See ya!